What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Holmes Brewery, and they're out of Ann Arbor, Michigan, and this is their Sinosure, the Raspberry and Passion Fruit variant. So they're calling this one a sour double IPA that is brewed with lactose, raspberry, and passion fruit, then aged on vanilla beans. It comes in at 8% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listen the time of review. This can is approximately four and a half months old. I want to give a huge thanks and Shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, Jeff, aka No Jinx, for hooking me up with this one. I'll post a link in the description box to the Beer Mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies that Jeff hooked me up with. And I want to start this review by saying I'm sorry to Jeff. And I apologize because uh, he sent me this one back in March. And um, usually when it comes to beers that are sent to me or that I pick up, the hot four beers are pushed to the forefront. I review them first, obviously, because they should be drank as relatively fresh as possible. And uh, when it came to this one, I saw sour double IPA, raspberry, passion fruit, vanilla beans, the whole nine. I figured I could wait on it a little bit. And then things started happening in life. And uh, obviously the beer reviews and beer in general got kind of you know pushed to uh, the wayside, put on the back burner. And over the last like four months, I have been not reviewing or drinking a lot of beer. And this is one that kind of got lost in the shuffle and just I wasn't able to get to it quicker. Uh, so I do apologize, Jeff. He sent me this one, I think it was less than a month old and uh, you know, I kind of sat on it. Now, the only reason I'm not too worried about this one is because he sent me another Sinosure last year and it was the Blackberry and Peach variant. And it was one of my favorite beers of 2019. Of course, I didn't do a top beers of 2019 list. I should do that at some point before the end of this year. Maybe I'll just roll 2019 and 2020 into the end of uh, year awards this year. I had the top beers I had in uh, 2020, I'll maybe include the 2019. But that was an, an awesome beer. Um, so I'm, I, I mean, I like blackberries a lot. I like peach. But I like raspberries and passion fruit better as a uh, combination, I think, in my opinion. It's going to be great. And with vanilla beans and the whole nine, I think this one should hold up. So we will see. But again, I do apologize, Jeff, not getting to this one sooner. Now, they are also double dry having this one mosaic where the double IP portion comes to the forefront. So yeah, anyway, the other thing I want to mention is I did open this off camera. The can felt kind of tight, like it might uh, gush or explode kind of like a, you know, a fruit smoothie or heavily fruited sour. It did not. So I did not pour it off camera. I just kind of left it as is. So I am going to pour it in the glass right now. I imagine the colors are going to be crazy. We will see. Yeah. So that looks awesome. It kind of looks like the other one that, uh, you know, Jeff sent me, the blackberry and peach, uh, although not as dark, obviously. Oh, yeah. That's looking fantastic. Now I did, uh, you know, roll the can and everything before I opened it which is probably a stupid thing if you think it's going to explode because it's probably just going to make it worse, but it did not, and uh, we should be fine. Now, I see if you can hear that on the microphone. A lot of carbonation. This one is fizzing crazily. Uh, so this has this really deep red, almost purple color to it, uh, relatively murky. Had about a finger, finger and a half of this light pink head that is now dissipating to almost a thin film. A lot of carbonation, as you uh, may have heard. I don't know if that's going to come off on the uh, microphone. I'll, I guess when I uh, look at this and edit it, I'll see. But uh, yeah, anyway, it looks like a beer that has raspberry in it for sure. Passion fruit, not so much. Raspberry, yes, it's going to nose. Yeah, it just smells like tart, not overly sweet raspberries. And then there's a tinge of vanilla coming from, I'd imagine, the vanilla beans, a little bit of lactose. Oh, hang on. Let me uh, swirl this around here. Yeah, the passion fruit is coming through now. Hmm, that's nice. What the fuck? It's crazy because the first thing I, smell I smelled was pre pretty much just raspberries, full-on raspberries, tart, semi-sweet raspberries. But now the passion fruit's kind of dominating the nose, and you wouldn't think that, considering the beer looks like this, but just from the colors of the raspberry, obviously. Yeah, passion fruit, vanilla, raspberry. There's like a generic stone fruit, like a peach apricot thing. Might be coming from the mosaic. Might just be because my palate's stupid. Could be everything, but it actually smells pretty damn good still. Man, that passion fruit. I, I fucking love it. I, listen, if, if, you, if you've never had passion fruit, you got to try it out. I, for a long time, didn't try passion fruit, and then I did, and it's one of my favorite fruits. It's just so fucking delicious. I got to go buy some. I got to, because every time I drink a beer of passion fruit, I'm reminded how much I fucking love passion fruit. It's just so, so damn tasty. And it's just, it's, the aroma's screaming passion fruit now. It's crazy. Yeah, anyway, I want to get into it. Smells delicious. Thanks again, Jeff. And once again, I apologize, but I have a feeling this is going to be damn tasty. Yep. 
fucking hell. Listen, Holmes, probably my favorite brewery in Michigan. There's a lot of great breweries in Michigan I love, but man. Raspberry, passion fruit, vanilla fucking goes together perfectly. Let's go body mouth here real quick. The body is like medium, like around medium body. So maybe a bit thin at 8%. Whatever, I don't care. The mouthfeel, here's where looks can be deceiving. A lot of times when you see a beer like this, you might think like, you know, it's not going to have a lot of carbonation. But as I showed you, and hopefully you heard on the mic, it did have a lot of carbonation. And it does on the palate. This is very spritzy and effervescent. It kind of like washes flavors away. Because this one finishes somewhat clean. Just like the amount of carbonation is kind of just just like rips away everything after you take a sip, which might be looked at as both a positive and negative depending on who you are. But body and mouthfeel are, are, are solid. It's good. It's fine. The taste is where this one shines. Right up front, the raspberry hitch, kind of like the nose. But I only get raspberry for like maybe a fifth of the palate, like right at the tip of the palate. And then the passion fruit just comes in in spades. And I again, looking at the beer and the first time I smelled it and whatnot i did not anticipate that happening but in this one it totally is the passion fruits just taking over it's running wild like in the 80s i've referenced that probably like a half dozen times on my channel and i will continue to do so because it's true but yeah the passion fruit passion fruit hits right after that raspberry and it just sticks with me for the majority of the palate then like three quarters of the way through the palate the vanilla sneaks in and I can't say that I've ever, I mean, I would, this kind of tastes like a raspberry passion fruit yogurt of some sort. Uh, maybe you threw a little bit of vanilla in there or it has like an accentuation of vanilla. That's what kind of this tastes like. And it tastes fucking dynamite. Um, there's that a base, like an underlying base of like a firm tartness. This is not sour, but it's firmly tart, which is nice. And the one thing I can appreciate about this series, having, you know, 7,000 of them, but having the one behind me, on the pretentious wall of bottles and cans. There's the other side of yours over here somewhere. I'm not going to look. I just know what's over here. Having that one and this one, I can say that these are super refreshing. They hide the alcohol so well. Like this does not taste, this tastes like five and a half, six percent, nowhere near eight percent. And whatever fruits are in there, you're getting. And the cool thing about these ones are they're not like the heavily fruited, crazy, you know, uh, fruit smoothie uh, sours where it's sometimes are way too sweet. They're not really a lot of times refreshing. This one is has the tartness. It has the refreshing quality. It has the carbonation. You can taste the raspberry in this one, the raspberry and the passion fruit, but it isn't like overbearing. I get the vanilla. The only thing I'm losing here, and this is probably because of time, is the double IPA portion. I'm really not getting uh, hoppiness, and I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you and be like, oh, yeah, there's still some hop. There is no hoppiness in the taste. Like, they're not getting that stone fruit I was getting in the nose. I'm not getting a like, kind of bitterness to it. Kind of expected that after four and a half months, but honestly, I don't fucking care because this is a great beer. Yeah, finishes with a little bit of sweetness, firm tartness, a touch of acidity, and it's semi-dry. It has it drinkability in spades for this one. Like, it's just, it's a fucking great beer. Here's the thing. I think I gave the other sign was your, like, a 4.75, 4.8. I thought I would like this one more because I like passion fruit a, a lot, obviously. But that blackberry and peach one, I don't know what if it was when I was drinking it and I just really never had a sour, sour double IP with all this stuff going on, whatever. I think that one hit me in the feels a little bit more. This one doesn't hit me as much in the feels. But regardless of whether I rate this one a 5 out of 5 or a 4 out of 5, whatever, just let it be known that this is a tasty beer. So I am going to give Cyanosier the Raspberry and Passion Fruit variant from Holmes a high 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to four, go 4.55 out of 5. That's a more than a fair score, but that's kind of where it lands for me. I like it a little bit less than the other one, but they're both just dynamite. And if you like raspberry or passion fruit, or like me, both, and you just want something that's super crushable, this is one that I would highly recommend now. Again, they released this one back, I think, in, in early March. So I don't know if they'll release this one at some point. I know Holmes does re-release stuff, but if they ever release this one specifically, and you like either of those fruits... You gotta grab it because it's worth it. Price and availability, I believe home stuff is brewery only. And I think the price point on this one, Jeff, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I believe these were $20 a four pack. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I'm gonna pour the rest in here just to see if anything at the bottom. Oh, there's some goodies at the bottom. Hang, now hang on, now hold the phone. Now hang on. Let's see if uh, that has done anything to the rest of the beer. Probably not, but... Slightly bigger body. So 
I would say all that did was really add to the body. It added a bit of uh, viscosity. I'd put this at like higher side of medium now, which is appropriate for 8%. But kudos to Holmes for this beer, uh, for the beer in general. I've had a handful of their stuff courtesy of Jeff and just fucking fantastic stuff. Um, 4.55 out of 5 for this one. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here in the Beer Patrol. Once again, thanks to Jeff for hooking me up with this one. Like I said, dude, I'm, I, I am, I, I kind of regret waiting on this one, but I kind of don't. Because I could, maybe fresh, this is better, but how much better? I don't know. But four and a half months old, this is still fucking dynamite. And I'm going to go off camera and fucking enjoy the rest of that. Probably in about five, ten minutes because it just goes down like water. Anyway, thanks to everybody. To the next one. Cheers.